How's it going, Rednecks? In this video, we're going to be working on the yellow Oldsmobile's power window. And what's going on is the same issue that the uh, blue Oldsmobile had is uh, this part right here ended up breaking. Uh, this goes between the uh, window tape and the window itself. On top of that, the window is falling in which tells me these clips right here are bad. Now there are two types of clips. I will put both the uh, types in the link description below. I need the 85 to 86 clips, and that's these guys right here, and I will have all this information in the link below. And uh, something I didn't address on the blue one that I'm gonna do on this one is we are gonna be replacing the window tape itself. So right now what I'll do is I will add a video of tools that you're gonna be needing and uh, all the uh, parts that are gonna be involved. You're gonna need five quarter by half inch rivets, a rivet gun, window tape, your window tape connector, window guides, a little prying tool for uh, getting your door panel off, a pair of cutters, a flathead screwdriver, and a pick, a number three Phillips, a number two Phillips, a T15 Torx, punch and hammer, quarter inch drill bit. Right there, that is all you're gonna need to do this. Well, aren't you all lucky? You got to see future Postal there, and uh, he had all the answers. He knew what tools to use. Unfortunately, I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start grabbing some tools. We're gonna tear this door panel off and get to the inside. But uh, before you start this project, I would recommend, this is what your uh, window tape comes shipped like. They just got it all kind of crumpled together and a little piece of tape holding it. So what I did is I unraveled it, reversed the roll, and taped it up like this. So that way, when I'm getting ready to uh, put it in, it's not gonna be a little snail shell like this. So yeah, good advice right there. But uh, yeah, how about, like I said, we get some tools, get this door panel off, and we'll repair this issue. With the door card off and everything that was covering this uh, door, you can see there's actually rivets that hold the um, electric motor in. And uh, right here are three for the electric motor. And then you're gonna have to remove two more for the uh, track assembly right here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a punch. You're gonna set it right there on the rivet itself. And then you're gonna take your hammer, you're gonna hit it and it's gonna knock that out. And then what you're gonna do is I'm using a quarter inch drill bit you're gonna set that in there and you're just gonna drill that out. And this will drill really easy because this is aluminum where the uh, centerpiece is steel. So you're gonna wanna knock that out first. So if they won't knock out, you can grind the head off flush and then start drilling. And as you drill it, we'll just drill that as well. So let's get these uh, other four knocked out and then we'll uh, start drilling them all. I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself right now. Uh, before I drill these rivets out, what I want to do is I want to lower this window down, get the window separated from the track, and that's going to be easy for me considering that's uh, already broken and the ball part of the track is the only thing holding the window up. For you, it's going to be a little different. You're going to either have to slide your uh, track out or you're going to have to just pop that ball off if you're going to be replacing that. But yeah, after you get all that set, remove your uh, or uh, disconnect your motor and then you can drill all these rivets out. So let's get that window disconnected, support that window separate from the motor, and uh, drill them things out. All right, right next with the uh, window track out or the uh, window motor assembly out, I kind of want to show you what's going on. 
And what it is, is right here is the new track. And as you can see, it has uh, like a gearing to it almost. And what that does is it rides through here and comes out. This is where your access is. And then when you want to bring your window up, it follows this track down and pushes this part right here up and down on this track. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So as you can see, when I move this all the way to the end, it actually stops because the spool runs out right here and goes tight. So to replace this, what I'm going to have to do is loosen up by just releasing the motor tension. Then I'm going to take it off these clips right here. And then I'm going to feed this tape all the way through the motor and that will push this thing off the end. And what that's going to allow me to do is replace this part here, which I was unlucky with. Uh, Amazon actually sent me this. And as you can see, there's two parts and there was only one in the box. They uh, corrected the issue, gave me two. And uh, yes, they are different from each other. There is a driver and passenger side uh, clip right here. So you need to make sure you have uh, either the driver or passenger one, depending on what side you're working. And this is a pack for driver and passenger. So... And then obviously, like I said, I'm going to replace this too. I'm lucky because mine's not broken. They tend to crack and break. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do you guys a solid. When I get this one off, I'm actually going to take and measure it for you so you have a rough estimate of how long it should be and then compare it to what you guys have uh, at your house. So no further ado, let's, uh, let's unclip this right here, feed this thing the rest of the way out, and then we'll uh, get this one cut to length. I also did forget to kind of show you guys what the ultimate failing point was, and that was this right here broke. This is what that uh, ball joint clips into, and as you can see in the package, that's that white piece right there, as well as both my clips are missing. So one's supposed to go in here, and another one's supposed to go in right there. So that's going to be these guys right here, and that'll uh, allow this uh, to track in the window more correctly. So what it was doing before is those kind of hold the window from doing this number. And when I'd roll the window down, it would just drop right into the door. So that'll take care of that issue. And this is the part we're after to uh, fix this. And the other end goes right there. For me, since the uh, tape is all intact, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my new piece, I'm going to lay it over top of the old one, like so, line up to, uh, the teeth or whatever, and just kind of go down, mold mine to it, and then take a pair of uh, cutters, and I'm going to cut mine just a little long, just in case, because it's uh, impossible to add, but easy to cut more off. I'm just going to take a little piece of uh, our uh, old set of cutters, set them on there, Boom, just like that, you cut your access off. This isn't really needed anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this thing out for you guys to kind of give you an idea of a uh, rough estimate of what you're going to need at home. And then we're going to feed this one back through, and we're going to put the end back on. So I went ahead and measured this. It is uh, 39 and a half inches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick wipe this track down, and then I'm going to feed this through. Now before I go all the way, I need to uh, put my new end on this and then we'll feed it the rest of the way in. Alright Rednecks, as you've seen, I fed the tape through, got the piece on and ran it up and down a few times. And with this pulled at maximum tension right here, this should not be coming off the end of your track. So it should be around flush. If it isn't, then what you're going to have to do is move this either one more tooth in and then cut it flush, or you're going to need to buy another tape. So that's why I said cut them short, or uh, cut them long. This is what I had to cut off of the uh, 39 and a half. So, yeah. Now what we got to do is uh, get the motor put back in the door and try and get the window fed onto that piece right there. And that's going to be a little track. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I want to get that put in the door, get the window clips put on, get the window put back into the track and everything, and then try and line that guy up. Thank you. 
All right, next, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I uh, honestly don't know what clips I uh, need for this window. One clip out of this box worked for the uh, front, and then the clip out of the other uh, box, I think it's like a, a bag of like 10 or 15, I can't remember, but fit on the back. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it didn't fit very well. There must be a special tool or something because I couldn't get that thing to shut or uh, clip on. So all I did is I put it in the best I can, rotated the window into place and it seems to be holding so unfortunately i don't know what clips are going to work for you i wish i had a better answer but uh i guess buy both of the bags and uh mix and match because that's what it took for me to get this thing in so now that we got the uh, motor setting in here we got the window in place now i got to try and line that track piece up with the window and then we can start putting all of our uh, rivets back in as you can see i marked all the location where rivets are going to be going yeah let's get this all lined up i'll uh, show you that process and then we'll start riveting this window back in Well, there we go. I got the uh, window installed with the new window tape and everything. And I just went over, obviously, at the beginning of the video, you've seen all this. Um, all the parts that are going to be needed for this will be linked in the description below. And yeah, the window is uh, about the same speed going down, same speed going up, kind of slow. You can hear the motor making some noise so I was really hoping the window tape would take care of that I thought the tape might be destroyed but unfortunately it's just the motor itself and uh this car just ain't worth it so I'm gonna deal with how slow the motor is and for you guys maybe that's something to think about when you're doing this is maybe replacing that whole unit if your windows going up and down slow but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe and get back to work